okay. on speakerphone, and she's going to ask her a question for you right now. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? Hi, Sierra, how are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you, love? I'm great. So what's going on? Well, basically, I want to find out, you know, first of all, let me tell you that I'm, like, one of your biggest fans. Thank you, love. And Thank I you. just wanted to find out how do you feel now that, that you got so much celebrity that you feel about being a role model to younger girls? You know what? One thing I believe about, you know, my career and, you know, being an entertainer is that God has given me such a big platform to not only dance and do music videos, but to be able to inspire other young girls and to be able to use my voice to, to help other people through, you know, different experiences and challenges. So, you know, it's a big responsibility, you know, in a sense, in my from my perspective, but it's one I'm very proud of, you know, because I, I feel like God could have, it could be anybody, you know, for, for me to be one person, you know, given this platform and opportunity is huge and something I'm very proud of. I'm not perfect, but I guess the cool thing about you know being a human and being an artist with that platform is that when you go through different mistakes when you have different mistakes and when you make different mistakes and you go through d different hard times you're able to share that experience with millions of fans and hopefully they can learn from your experience while you know you're actually going through it oh uh, yeah I, I do understand and I've been wanting to say you know it's so refreshing to find somebody that's in the industry right now the way things are going that's so modest and down to earth and who can stay as real as possible. Aww. Something to contact with. Thank you very much, love. Well, you know, um, I always tell people I wasn't raised in, you know, in the music industry. Like, I wasn't groomed to do what I'm doing. So, you know, my journey that I have is when I feel like people are kind of, they're taking the journey. Just, it's, everything is kind of as new as it is to me, to my fans that go with me. So, you know, I don't know. I just say all that to say, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm like, yes, I'm an artist, but, you know, I am human, and I, I don't forget, you know, where I came from. So, you know, I think that's important. But I, I want to say thank you for that, though. Thank you so much for taking time to answer my question and speak to me. Awesome. And what's your name one more time so I can Hi. shout you out? My name is Kawanda. Kawanda. Everybody, right now. I wish you much more success. Thank you, love. Everybody, right now, I am on the phone with Kawanda. Shout out Kawanda. Okay. We go holla. Oh, and if you guys want to call me, um, call me at 404-655-3424. I'm going to say like, um, um, okay, bye Kawanda. I'm going to keep, I'm not going to talk you to death. <laughs> okay. Peace out. Have a great day, Kawanda. Okay, bye. That against you, but it's all about having confidence and full confidence and, sorry, and full faith within yourself. So I just encourage you to constantly remind yourself confidence will carry me far if i believe then others will believe if i don't believe others won't believe so all right those are a few things we've got malik on the phone he's very excited right now from savannah okay hey malik how you doing yeah this is me Um, I like to eat, um, one of my favorite restaurants is called Houston's. They have one in Atlanta, they have one in L.A., um, they have one in Miami. That's one of my favorite restaurants to go to. I also love to eat Red Lobster's um, cheese biscuits. Murderous. <laughs> but I like to eat there. Um, what else? Those are a few places I like. He wants to know when you're coming to Savannah, too. Oh, when am I coming to Savannah? I don't know when I'm coming, but I do have plans to make it back to Savannah. Um, Savannah, Georgia, right? Yeah, I have plans Did you to make. Ever been to Savannah before? Huh? You ever been to Savannah before? Um, I have. I I have been to Savannah a few times actually. Oh, when when is your next CD gonna come out? Huh? Hold on, we got some more questions <laughs> <laughs> on um on um. <laughs> We have some more questions for you on, um, on Twitter here. He was so excited, poor guy. All right. Um, I don't know what happened. A good one came on TV. I would totally watch it. Like, I love the Flintstones from back in the days. That was fun. All right. Of course, we want everyone wants to know if you're dating anyone. Am I dating anybody? I am dating my music right now. My music is my love. Hey, Kenneth. 
My manager just walked in the room. Do you want to say hi to my fans, Kenny? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I say hi. Everybody say hi to Kenneth. Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hi. That's one of my... I'm awesome. He's like so sweet. Hair. Thank you. Good. How are you, Kenneth? I'm awesome. Kenneth is one of my managers, um, and he just walked in the building, but um, I am totally in love with my music right now. My music is one of the most faithful and honest and loving things out there for me. 